this is AI video. Everything that you're looking at right now is created entirely using OpenAI's newest text to video model called Sora. Imagine being able to type out a scene description and having an AI automatically turn that into an actual video that you can use. The prompt to create this was several giant woolly mammoths approach treading through a snowy meadow, their long woolly fur. Okay, I'm not gonna read all this shit. It's super long. So I'm just gonna put all of the prompts up here on the screen so you can see it. What's super impressive about this is that most available text to video generators currently look like this. And if I was Runway ML, Pika Art, or any other video creation AI company right now, I would be super scared because Sora from OpenAI is just that good. I mean, take a look at this movie trailer featuring a 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet. There's some more details in here, but this is just freaking insane. Now, at first I thought that this was something that was edited together, but after reading through how this works, I was even more impressed because what OpenAI plans to do with Sora is even more mind blowing. Stick around until the end of this video because it only gets better as we discuss how this AI works, what it can do, and what OpenAI plans to do with this in the future. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Now, at first glance, looking through this, you can see that there are a lot of really impressive results, mostly dealing with realistic scenes. Here, for example, we have the woolly mammoth. And then here we also have the movie trailer with the film cinematic style. And of course, we have a drone shot, which looks beautiful and realistic. Yet, when we also go over to getting into animated characters or 3D and cartoon characters, the results look just as impressive. I mean, look at all of the details on the fur, the lighting here. I mean, this is freaking insane. Another really cool one is this beautiful paper craft world of a coral reef. And we have all of the different animals rendered in this paper craft style. Now, if we were to nitpick, we could say that some of this is not entirely perfect, but at that point, it is honestly just nitpicking because this looks dead on believable and really, really high quality. This one is insane. It's two pirate ships battling each other inside of a cup of coffee. And again, everything that you're seeing is generated by AI. Now, if you did want to nitpick, you can notice some of the details in here for this peach tree dish with a bamboo forest growing in it with these tiny red pandas running around. It's a little bit strange that every single red panda only has a set of two legs. So it's not like some of the other video generators in which you'll see some of the legs disappear and come in and out between three or four legs or so. In this instance, we actually have all of them running around with just two legs, but you're gonna see as to why that's the case for this model, because it does operate a little bit differently from some of the ones that we may have seen already from Stable Diffusion. What truly sets Sora apart from its competitors is its transformer architecture, which you might remember if you've ever checked out a little bit into how ChatGPT works. And this is what allows it to maintain its realism and consistency across multiple scenes because it's not just generating isolated clips, it's actually constructing its own model and representation for it to understand these different scenes and everything that's inside of it. Now it is able to include multiple objects and characters that include each other, showing the same character in multiple Multiple scenes, different ways in which characters can actually interact with their world. For example, this paint being applied to the canvas by the hand and this man taking a bite out of this juicy burger. I can already see how powerful this is going to be because the implications are enormous, especially when you get into the fact that it can create videos and animate these videos believably. I mean, just take a look at this Shiba Inu wearing a beret and a black turtleneck. This looks so good, it's mind blowing. If you thought that at least animators were safe in this instance, well, you can take a look at this monster illustration that it was beautifully animated in a way that honestly, I would say this is about 90 to 95% passable here. Looking at this as a motion graphics designer, I would be a bit scared. And again, these results are just so impressive. The way that it's able to generate these scenes and animate them is really, really great. One of the super cool features of it is that it's also able to extend generated videos. So from these examples, you can see that we have the San Francisco cable car and all of these videos are gonna have different intros, but they're all gonna meet towards the same ending point. And this 
This is because the AI can extend backwards in time starting from a segment of a generated video. The result means that all of these videos start different yet all of them lead to the same ending. This example is also showcased with this video in which it's able to create an infinite loop seamlessly. Another really awesome example is the video to video editing in which it's able to take an input video and change the setting to be in a lush jungle with realistic shadows and lighting and reflections. Looking at this is nothing short of looking at magic. Another impressive feature is that they have an example here where they change the setting to a 1920s old school car and they make sure to keep the red color of the car and also the same travel path. The entire background is changed. We have a very beautiful and almost believable realistic rendering of the 1920s with all of the architecture and styles and people. And then we have another example in which we make it go underwater. The road is next to coral reefs on the side here. There's another awesome example using this drone shot which turns into a butterfly by interpolating both the drone shot and the butterfly underwater video. We also have this lizard iguana with this bird. We can see the motion and the animal mixing together in its appearance, making something kind of trippy. And again, all of these are completely AI generated. Now, the possibilities I can imagine are endless from revolutionizing film and education to creating entirely new forms of storytelling. It's not entirely perfect, but it is very, very great to the point where I can honestly see this being used. Now, aside from just completely killing it, we also have the concept of simulating worlds because one of the emergent simulation capabilities came from the way in which people and the environments can all interact with each other. So for example, you can see in this AI generated video that we have people holding their hands, different vendors, the snow, the weight of the clothing, the hair and everything to where OpenAI believes that at some point they'll be able to generate simulated worlds with a high degree of believability, including their objects, animals, and all the people that live within them. This is mind blowing stuff. So yeah, we're honestly just at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what Sora and OpenAI is planning to do. This is not available for everyone to play around with just yet. The moment it does, we're gonna cover it and talk about it here. So make sure you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell. If you enjoyed checking out Sora, then you're also gonna enjoy this awesome text to 3D AI model, which comes with impressive results. We're gonna leave that video right here so you can check it out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.